Hey guys, Bryce Hall here, and welcome back to Goonies 2. Let's move down. And yet another dark room. As you can see, it's very important to have the candle. Now, I think you can find all these items in the dark without using the candle, but I mean, something you gotta hit back walls and you can't see doors. It's a pain. And that, that the fact they would hide the candle so difficultly as they did really does not speak well to their brain power, honestly. Alright, so you see, we're not too far from a Goonie, which is good, which is good. I'm not sure if they actually focus in on a specific Goonie or not. That's something I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, let's get going here. Now, good thing is that, considering, you know, the area that we're in and stuff, Mikey's got a pretty good jump and control. That's one of the, the real pluses of this game, is how well he controls. Oh, this is not going to end well. Get out of my face. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, it's real easy to lose health in this game. You really gotta be a little careful. Alright, let's get out of here. Huh? Wait, is this where I just came from? Did I just go the wrong way? Yeah, this is where I just came from. Do I really want to be here? I don't think so. I think I want to go through the cave. Oh, this game's so confusing. Yeah, no, we want to be on the other side, because there's nothing over here. There's literally nowhere else for us to go over here, so... Yeah! Uh, left, I believe, because we're going to have to do a bit of trekking around here. Now, that water will hurt us. It won't wash you away or nothing. And it doesn't last too long, which is nice of it. Alright, I don't think I'm going to have a platform. I just got to uh, make the jump. Yeah! Come on, let me off the ladder. Stinking snakes. Now, here's something you can do in the game. If you know where enemies spawn and you can find a pretty safe spot to set up, you can just wait and kill enemies to har harvest um, refills for your weaponry and uh, like that, or for uh, your life and such things, you can sit there and do that. And I'm not going to do this a whole lot as best I can, but this is a good way to get through the game. It's a nice way to actually get a refill that's not too difficult. The problem is as the game goes on, they get harder and harder to kill and they get more aggressive, so it's not as easy to do and actually keep your health up and such things, you know? You don't really want to do that. Alright, let's just go in here. Let's stop screwing around. Uh, another dark room, eh? Alright, so we can go up, maybe down. Let's see what up does. Up takes us back here. Alright, let's go in here and go down. Yeah. Well, we did hear about a Goonie that was all like, It's cool! I don't like cool! But we don't seem to be near him, so... Maybe a bit of a trek, or more likely, we're just collecting more items. Because this game, as much as it is about collecting or saving Goonies, it's really about getting all of the possible implements and weapons and shoes you possibly can. Because if you don't, well, you're in deep friggin' do, guys. That's what it does. That's what it does. Alright. Going onwards with life. That's pretty easy. Now, yes, the ground is slippery, so you got to be careful here of the enemies and such as you make your way through uh, time and space. All right. I believe this is where, like, walruses and things start showing up. Ugh. There we go. And you got to be careful of the falling uh, icicles. They will damage you like so. You don't want to do that, do you guys? Do you really want to be the ones getting damaged by such things? Really? All right. Um... Right? Ah, that's one thing we do need. We've got a boomerang! It's a nice weapon, you can actually fire it in a few different directions, but there's almost no chance I'm gonna retain this item. There's an enemy in the game that if it touches you, it removes the boomerang from your inventory. Really difficult enemy to kill and avoid. You're pretty much screwed. There's really no way to get around it. You're just gonna lose the boomerang, but hey, you have it for a little bit. But it doesn't stun it, like, you can't fire it off as quick as the yo-yo, it's really only useful in a select few situations. And even then, you can use fire bombs to serve the same purpose, which is it can throw them downwards, so what's the big deal, right? Absolutely. freaking lootly Alright, let's get back over here. It's over here. Ooh, a hole in the ground. Yeah, that is part of the game. You actually have to go diving underwater at some points, but we can't do that right now. Let's use a hammer. I think we can hit the back wall here. Yeah! And since it's a hidden safe, let's use a key. What do we get? We've got a pair of glasses. Glasses are a good friggin' deal, man. They are a good deal. You know why they're a good deal? 
because we can use them to also spot stuff hidden in the walls, including doors and safes, just like the hammer or hitting a wall. Let's get a move. Oh crap. Let's get a move on. Run. That's one thing in this game is the faster you are on the run. Oh crap. The, the faster you are on the run, the better your chances because the quicker you can get away from all those enemies, man, the quicker you can actually do good stuff for yourself. Because if you take too long like this, then you're going to be stuck, and then you're going to have to try to wait them out. Now, these guys, I think, just do left to right. They're not a... Well, no, see, he changed direction. I mean, right when I'm saying that, he's like, no, nah, I'm just going to change direction. That's what I do. All right, so we are going to let him go. <sighs> Good lord, Brian. Again! Oh, crap. Really? Well, I've lost all my energy already. This is a... F oh, crap. I didn't think there was an enemy over here. This is why taking your time is a bad idea, guys. Not a good idea. And we're back over here, and we're gonna go up this vine. Cause it's a good time. Can I clear this jump? I must be able to clear this jump. Oh crap! Yeah, we're just gonna go up. Well, I guess I could've taken the platform too, but then we would be risking uh, severe water. Oh crap! This is getting out of hand. This is, this is so getting out of hand right now, guys. The amount of out of hand we're seeing, it, it's a it's an amazing scale of it. There we go. Finally, oh no no. There we go. Holy crap, guys! They're really beating my face. They're beating my face and making it bleed like bleh bleh. Uh, am I going the right way or the wrong way though? That's the next question. There's a door here, but is this where I want to be? Uh, I don't think this is where I want to be. Memory serves this is not the spot, actually. Wait a bit. No, I think, you know, this is the door we actually were at earlier. We went the wrong way, I'm pretty sure. I think we have to go, yeah. We already crossed this territory. I'm backtracking myself like a fool. Not a good, not a good start, guys. Oh, crap! Yeah, because that's the big leap I had to do. Right? Remember, guys? Do you remember? Because I sure don't. I sure in the hell don't. We want to go this... Okay, you seriously need to bugger off. Come on. No, stop. This is, this is really getting old. Holy crap! Wow, that, that actually worked out. Don't ask me how that worked out. By all rights, I should be dead as a frigging door now. Get out of here, spider. Get the frig out of here, man. Oh my god, that was scary. That was seriously scary. Alright. What do we have to do in this wall? Hit? No. Tool. Let's try the glasses. Yeah! Alright. Here's a helmet for you. Hooray! We have got a helmet, guys. Isn't this awesome? It sure is. Alright. We now have to go... I think we have to go back outside, unfortunately. Yeah, we have no choice. Big jump, big jump, big hops, big jump. All right, is this the way we want to go? We're back down to where we were before, but we haven't explored this area, so I'm pretty sure we want to go right. Now, chances are we're going to get drilled by a waterfall at some point here, because they are not the most well-situated things. Oh, crap. Yeah, see? Oh, crap. Okay, here's an example of... Uh, Here's a good example of when you want to use the yo-yo. Or the yo-yo, pardon me, the slingshot. In this in this game, Brian can tell what the hell he's talking about. Yeah, right. Oh my goodness, this game. Alright. Another fun trick you can pull. If you're ever in trouble with a lot of enemies, sneak into a door. Uh, that's not the right way at all, is it, guys? No. No, it's not even close. Alright, let's get back out here and get moving again. Come on, hurry up. Let's get going. Now, I may have to just have to bite the bullet here and take damage from this waterfall. Or you can time it perfectly. That would work, too. Get out of here, Fratelli. No one likes you. Now, that door, I believe we're going to have to... I believe we ignore that door. Oh, wow. I'm actually getting some decent kills in here, which is rare. Wait, no, 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 no. You can drop more health for me. I'd appreciate that. I'd appreciate more health anytime you can support. Oh, crap. This is not going well. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> that was panic, added panic, and more panic. Wait, the hell? Did it start us further along? 
I'm now really confused, guys. I am now really confused. Let's go in this door, see what's going on. <laughs> My god, they just kind of move me forward in the area. They're like, no, it's fine. We'll let you skip some. Oh, man. And we're now in more ice cave fun. But where are we? Look at that. We're right over by that Goonie. Fan freaking tastic. So let's get going here and get over towards that Goonie. No, no, no. Yeah, by the way. Oh, by the way, you see how that icicle just bounced off my head? That's because I have the helmet. The helmet protects you from icicles. Oh, good lord. That worked. I wasn't actually planning on using a firebomb. I was actually switching to use a yo-yo. Okay, no, 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 Brian. Let's, let's be smart about this. <laughs> there we go. I didn't mean to firebomb him, but that works for me, guys. We're ignoring that safe, because that safe is crap. And instead, we are going to hammer the back wall and see... Oh, it's a door. Let's go through the door. And look who it is. It's another Goonie. Hooray. We did it. We saved the Goonie. Wow. That's high praise. If you haven't seen the Goonies, a lot of this references won't make any sense to you. But consarn it, guys. Consarn it. You should watch the Goonies. Good adventure movie. Anywho... That's going to do it for this one. Join us next time when we'll continue wandering on through this crazy, crazy game of adventuredom. See you then.